Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the four most awesome ways of how you can use SQL map that will help you to find SQL injection vulnerabilities. But before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video, then go ahead and check it out. The link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, let us get started. So a very interesting way of using SQL map with your methodology is directly using the request body and paste it into SQL map. That will help you to not only, you know, use SQL map with ease, but it will also help you to, you know, establish all the essential headers, cookies and all those, you know, the necessary values that are required to test and authenticate endpoints directly into the request. So SQL map is directly going to feed all those data and you don't need to do anything at all. So let me show you how we can do that. Okay. Just an example, let me just go to my browser here. Okay, so you can see we are right at our browser over here. I'm just going to see if my intercept is off. Yes. And now I'm going to show you something very interesting. For example, let us say that I'm testing this particular uh, web application. Okay. 1.131. And let me just quickly log into this application here. Now you can see I'm logging, I'm just doing the authentication part and then only I'm allowed to, you know, access all the internal content, right? So to test for these uh, for vulnerabilities in authenticated endpoints, we basically need to specify the cookies or all the necessary values. So an easy way is to directly copy the request body and send it directly to SQL map. Let me show you. I'm just going to give you a very simple example. And I'm just going to skip this to low just to show you the exact demonstration. Save this SQL injection. It's going to add a random value. Okay. You can see this is the URL that we've got. If I copy this URL and if I paste it in a, a new incognito tab where I am not, you know, logged in, you'll see I will be redirected to the admin to the login panel. Right. So Let's try to see that how we can get around this particular, uh, you know, scenario. Okay. The very basic thing is let's open our burp suit first. And I'm simply going to just send all my requests to the burp suit proxy. And then we are simply going to just capture the request. Okay. Just going to turn on the intercept and let's specify user ID one. You can submit. And you can see this is the request going on. I'm simply going to send this to the repeater. And then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy all of this request body. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to simply paste everything right over here. Just do control plus S. So let us go ahead and type SQL map minus R demo.txt and minus minus dbs okay now when we'll hit enter so this particular method is going to test every parameter which is present inside the request body okay it will be guest get parameters it can be the post parameters and even the json body so it's going to do everything for you so you just need to pass this minus r flag hit enter and then you'll see that we have successfully got the database information right so this is one of the interesting way of using sql map using this minus r uh, flag okay Let's try to see that how we can use some other cool features of SQL map. Now, let me show you another cool feature of SQL map. Do you guys know that we can use SQL map to directly escalate SQL injection into remote code execution? Okay. Now, this can be only done if the file read and write features are enabled by the backend. But if it is even enabled, then make sure to go ahead and check this particular uh, flag that I'm going to show you. Okay. For example, let us say that this is our target and uh, we want to identify SQL injection here. So let me just quickly do the request ending part. There it is. I'm just going to copy everything from the request body. And let's open our terminal. And now let us go ahead and create a file. Hit 
let us paste all the request body here and now what we're going to do is we're simply going to type sql map minus r for the request file testing.php sorry testing.txt then minus minus os os dash shell okay this is what we need to do and simply you can just hit enter right after that okay and as you can see it will ask you for which web application language that this web server supports so by default you can see it will automatically detect the you know backend language but in case if it is not able to detect it in that scenario just go ahead and select any one of this okay then hit enter and then as you can see in our case the file upload functionality was enabled and as a result we are able to call out the cell command right and now we have complete access on the web application server you can simply type commands like who am i okay just type y we can you can see we are the www data we can also type ls again you can see we are, we are getting all the files present on that particular server so this is how you can use sql map to escalate sql injection into remote code execution another interesting way of using sql map is to you know check out all the functionality that we have that we can use to bypass the web application firewall misconfiguration and to check that like how many uh, features that we have that can bypass web application firewall we simply need to type one command which is sql map minus list tampers hit enter and then you will see all the available files or functionality that we can use to you know uh, tackle multiple web application firewall misconfiguration for example you can see that it will replace this int union with int this particular value then you can see it is going to replace this single port into this uh, you can say uh, counterpart with counterpart something like that right then we have this between like replaces greater than operator with non between and hash okay so these are some things that you can use actually like let's say that uh, there is a web application firewall that is only allowing the character encode characters okay in that scenario you can go ahead and use this one okay similarly once you have identified the target like uh, what type of uh, values are getting detected by the web application firewall then you can go ahead and use one of these to prevent the web application firewall to get, get triggered okay for example let us go ahead and use this character in code i'm just going to copy this and again i'm going to use the same lab you just go ahead and type skill map minus r testing and you can simply type minus minus tamper equals to and just paste out the particular file that you have copied okay and then simply let's do minus minus tds hit enter wait for a few seconds and as you can see we have successfully got the database so this is one of the most interesting way of using sql map that you can simply go ahead and see what are the available options you have but first you need to understand that what type of values are getting flagged by the web application firewall the character to be specific only then you will be able to use it okay now let's go ahead and jump to the next part of how we can use sql map okay let me show you the last and the interesting way of finding sql injections let me just go ahead and log into my dwa and then i'm going to show you a concept of second urls okay let me just show you localhost let's go to dwa security and i'm going to set this to high okay and let us try to understand this functionality okay this is very interesting and you can see once i have written this id one so this is what i am reflecting okay let's try to understand this that you can see the value which is getting submitted is on this particular form okay but whatever is reflecting is showing in the first url okay so we have the concept of multiple urls so one url is used for uh, sending the data and the second url is used to view the content whatever we have got from that particular data in that case we can use a very interesting flag which is minus minus second url okay let me show you how we can do this first this is the injection point right this is where we are adding our value so i'm just going to turn on my intercept and then i'm going to simply uh what you can say add the value right over here and simply i'm going to click on submit button okay once we have that we have the request body i'm simply going to send this to repeater and after that i'm simply going to copy everything from here and then let's create a file let's paste every request body that we have copied and the last thing that we need to do is we can type sql map minus r for yas.txt 
minus minus TBS. Okay. Once I'll hit enter, right now you can see that it is say, saying that uh, post parameter ID does not appear to be dynamic and might not be injectable. Okay. Let's complete this. And you can see what it says that post parameter ID does not seem to be injectable, which means that it's saying that it is not vulnerable at all. Okay. But what we can do is since we know that we can actually see, we are actually seeing the data on the first URL. Okay. So I'm just going to copy the first URL over here. Okay. And this particular URL or this particular endpoint is used to send the data, right? So this will be our first URL and I'm going to add a second URL parameter. Okay. And simply I'm going to paste the value right over here. Okay. Do that and then simply hit enter and this time hopefully we'll be able to see the vulnerability and right now as you can see it is saying that the backend dbms is my sql so basically we were able to find this sql injection so right now we have indicated that you need to look for the data or whatever result you are looking uh, in the second url and the first url which is present in this request body is used to inject the data inject the sql injection payload okay simply type enter and then we'll be able to see the DBS. Wait a few seconds here. And you can see we have successfully caught the data. So these are some of the ways that we can use uh, SQL map to get SQL injection. The first way is we can use SQL map to directly fetch the uh, directly find the SQL injection with the request body itself. That way we don't have to specify cookies, headers, and any other things. It's going to fetch all of that from the request body that we have given. Okay, then we have a lot of ways like how we can bypass firewalls and then, you know, how we can uh, like uh, right over here, how we can use the concept of second URL. And then we have one interesting thing, which is how we can execute remote code execution. So I hope you all have understood uh, this video. I hope you all have learned something new from this video. If you have any doubts at any points, feel free to let me know. And now with that being said, keep learning, keep hacking and thank you so much for watching.